Hi, I'm Bud Nash, and I'm going to show you how I use OneNote 2013, 2010 will work also, with um, Internet Explorer to help me plan out RV trips and locations, finding campgrounds, that sort of thing. Uh, OneNote has the ability to have multiple notebooks. I use James's just because it's local, but I can also have them synced to my SkyDrive or Microsoft, and now call it OneDrive, uh, in the cloud. But let's just start off here. I would like to create a new trip, and I'll go to Northwest Trips, and this is sort of what I'm going to build. You can use this for reference if you want. We may jump back and forth to it as we build this, but I'm basically going to show you the me mechanisms that you can use to make this happen. Let's start off here and let's say Seattle area RV parks and this is just research that I'm doing here and I'm generally I'll start off if I don't know anything about the area I'll start off with maps for overviews and um, and I kinda like bulleted lists it makes it easier to um, work around and if I have to move chunks of it around because I decide I like a different order the bullet lists all move nicely, uh, but let's let's go in here and say okay. I, I just like um, overview map of the area, and I will go to Internet Explorer because it has this wonderful feature called live linking, which works with OneNote and most of the other Microsoft Office products. And let's just go to RV Park Reviews. Well, before we do that, let's go to maps because I know I'm going to want that. I like Google Maps a little better than Bing's for this. And I want to go to Seattle, Washington. And it'll take me to the general area. And then I'll say, well, you know, let's refine that a little bit and say I really want to see RV parks in that area. And it'll start popping them up, populating the screen with them. Um, and I'd like to change this overview to be a little bit broader because I'm more interested not just in Seattle, but in the areas to the west there, like Squim, here, Port Angeles, um, and so forth. Chimicum, I know there's an RV park there from Escape Eaves, but let's just use this as an example. You'll notice when I go back to Seattle area here. I'm going to be popping back and forth between uh, the map on Internet Explorer and this page. So let's use the dock to desktop capability of OneNote, stick it on the side over here, and now I have my maps readily available right here beside it. And now when I want to go to my OneNote, a notebook here I can put in information now watch when I start typing and you will notice that uh, this will be the overview map and when I started typing I got this icon here this Internet Explorer icon you got also when you hover over it, you get a thumbnail, you get a link, and that ties directly to the information that's over here. At the time I do this typing, the reason why this is particularly helpful is because I get a map. The map will be right there in my OneNote document. Now, if I'm interested in going a little bit further here and saying, well, you know, now I'd like to start zooming in on stuff. Let's just say I'm going to look for RV parks. As, as another thing I'm going to go for here and within that context uh, let me zoom down here to Chimacom and because uh, I know that's where the escapees park is here um, and I can see let's There's the area that I want, and now let's let's list some parks in here. So we'll start off with the Evergreen Coho SKP Park. Well, okay. Tell you what, I will just go to RV Park Reviews, drill down to Chimacom, because that's often the starting point. 
it's not the only resource I use to determine the suitability of a, of a uh, campground, but it's one place that I go. My eyes will focus fast enough here. And we're pull up the RV park reviews of Chimacum area. There's only the one park in that particular town. And here it is. Here the Evergreen Escapees Park. But let's just cut and paste that over here. I have my paste default set up to not also put the visible URL in there when I do a cut and paste. It makes it a little cleaner, neater for this sort of thing. Uh, but that's just under the advanced options in OneNote. Um, and that's the only that's the only campground there. So let's pop back out here and look at another nearby town like Port Townsend. And do the same sort of thing. Oh, here's a park here. Let's um, do a cut and paste for that in here. Now we'll put the campground in there, and it will put it right in there like this. And whatever other campgrounds might be in the area, I'll put them in there. I can put them in there as well. I happen to remember that I saw a um, review on Escape uh, Ease. It, it seemed to me. Um, that it was talking about Seattle area and campgrounds in there and so forth. And I remember that it happened to be in the Days Inn area. So let's just go to Escapees. We'll go to the, oh, there it is, right, Santa Washington RV Park. Suggestions. This happens to be the latest entry in there. But this thread as a whole, I'd like to be able to get to. And notes. And this one here will be Escape these Notes. Oh, I spell it out. We'll use the abbreviation everybody else uses. This makes forms. And now I have a link, as you can see here, with the highlight thumbnail. Okay. Last part of this I'm going to show you is the. Um, fact that I can go to a particular entry that I found useful like this one here she talks directly about it that'll give me a URL here which I can pick up copy and paste it in here and um, I'm going to do this just to paste the link in there to take me directly back to that entry Okay, and that's all for this part here, and that'll show it. Again, the what we're building here, this is it fleshed out, and you can see how we do it. You can do tables in here as well. Um, tables don't support the linking, but that's okay. Because the tables, you use kind of different stuff. But you can see I put in other towns, I put in other parks in those towns and one of the nifty things about these is when I click on a particular item coming from RV Park Reviews because those were linked items it takes me to the full review of that particular park including all the history for it. Okay? I hope this is useful, gives you some ideas about ways you can use this. Enjoy.